Hey everybody, it's Chris again, bringing you a promised review of the Anchor, Latitude 64's overstable midrange that will be coming out soon. This disc is fairly deep profile, more similar to a Bard than, say, a Verdict, and that's actually what you're going to see me throw it up against. So similar to the Caltrip review, you're going to see me throwing it in a dome, uh, it's going to put it against, a, like I said, a Verdict and a Bard, and then uh, a couple of throws with me on the course, and then Jason Wilder throwing it, and then his personal review at the end as well. So what is my impression of this? Put it up against two standard over stable discs uh, for the Trilogy mid-range lineup, and it compares very favorably. Obviously, it's going to feel a lot more like a bar than the hand, um, than, say, a Verdict, which is my preferred disc because I like lower profile mids. Um, I thought it had a little bit less glide than the Bard, uh, and on that, I think Jason actually disagreed with me. You can check on his review, we'll see. Um, but uh, finishing-wise, they were all ending up in the same vicinity. Uh, yes, a little bit of flight differences, but they're overstable mids, they're all very predictable. So if you are not clicking with the Verdict or the Bard, this may be the disc for you. Give it a shot when it comes out. Or if you just want to try a change, um, it's going to be a solid performer. You can see me throw it on the course. I parked, well, I didn't park, but I got birdies on both the holes. I threw it on, uh, and the shots that you don't see on camera, I was always right, right in the vicinity of the area I wanted to be in as well. So, Latitude 64 Anchor, Overstable Mid. Give it a shot when it comes out, and enjoy the rest of the video. As all right, Bard, Chris Goodrich. Bard, Verdict, Anchor, in that order. All right, so you're going to see five throws total. Bard. Verdict anchor and then verdict anchor again because I really mangled the throw with the bard. When they're put on similar lines, all these discs finish similarly, but I think the bard and the anchor are both just a touch more overstable and with less glide than the verdict, and the anchor seems to have even a little bit less glide than the bard to me. As noted in the preview, I th said Jason probably disagreed with me. I was completely incorrect. You're going to hear him say very similar thing at the end messed that one up pretty bad but oh well so here are those last two shots pretty similar throws flat just a little bit to the right you can see it come down at the end a nice little skip and the anchor is going to be just a touch higher but you're going to see the you see the fade at the end you just see the wing dipping and coming down to earth right there when I took them out on the course, I was ready for it. This is a 300 plus foot hole, just had to fade left. You can see the disc gets around the corner beautifully. It's like 15 feet short and I hit the uphill putt. And here's like a 240 or 250. Uh, baskets to the right of the tree. It's gonna end up just a little bit right of target because I turned it over a little bit too much, but very predictable disc. This test is bird versus so as you watch Jason throw, what you're gonna see is again, all three of these discs are over stable mids. They're gonna be decent in the wind for you. Here's the bard going strong left right out of the hand. Verdict's going to be a little bit flatter just by nature of the disc. But again, nice strong left fade at the end. Nice skip. And he gets really low and over the top on the anchor, so you're not going to see as much turn. But you can see when it hits the ground, it is trying to fight to the left already. So. Again, three overstable mids. You're going to see him throw them a couple more times. It's going to be very consistent. Order might change, but the discs are all predictably overstable. Remember from that first set when he got over on top of the anchor and it went really straight? Here's an example of that exact same shot with the bar just to see the comparison of the two discs on that torqued over shot. And then here's a great shot of the anchor just going left. One of the best parts about this set of throws for watching Jason was you can tell how much he warmed up. These discs are going a good 30, 40 feet further than his first tests. And he's getting a lot smoother lines with them as well. This is probably the best set to just see how all three of these fly.
Hi, this is Jason Wilder, uh, PDGA number 17523. I'm an advanced master's level player. Throw anywhere from 325 to 400, depending on the, the day and the disc. Um, reviewing the anchor from Latitude 64. Uh, very nice feel in the hand for me. I've got larger hands and bigger fingers, so um, it's got a similar feel as a bard for me. Uh, in the hand, I'm able to really get my fingers underneath the rim and get a good grip. Um, I like the top where my thumb fits right inside that rim there, get a nice solid grip. Uh, for me, this is a little bit uh, similar to a bard, uh, but a little more, uh, a little slower speed for me than a bard. Uh, I get a little bit more glide out of my bard, um, but it definitely has the stability, every bit of the stability as, as a bard for me. Um, that's probably the closest thing I would equate it to. Uh, I don't know that it would uh, kick the bard out of my bag, but definitely a good disc.